Right, so what I got going on today is a uh, an old Skytrack 6036 and uh, well it's got a lot of different issues on it it's got some leaking lift cylinders uh, pretty much every cylinder is leaking on it so the guy sometimes when you show up to a job you just know there's going to be instantly there's going to be um, some issues and uh, so what I mean by that is the customer sent me over the phone a picture of uh, this cylinder here and he said that the cylinder was leak the rear steering cylinder was leaking and he wanted me to reseal it for him so I said okay I can do that really busy could be a could be a three weeks a month I don't know but eventually um, I got up here I'm here today and uh, as you can see just sitting here it's just pouring out but if you go over to the other side you may notice that it's doing the same thing so and you know these cylinders are separate from one another on these machines on some of the machine you know like a backhoe or something there'll be one long steer cylinder with a piston in the middle that slides back and forth but on these machines there's one for they're separate for each uh, wheel so when you say you take a picture of one and tell me that you want me to reseal it then i'm assuming you only want one done but obviously that one's leaking just as bad as this one obviously he's probably wanted both of them done so it is what it is i'll get this one resealed and i'll tell him well i guess i'll have to make another trip back up here but um he might be a little irritated but hey that's the way it goes um i'll get this one resealed and uh if he wants me to i'll order the other one and come back up here when i can and do the other side but it is what it is so i'm gonna see if i can do all this and if this is gonna play nice and uh do all this without taking the wheel and stuff off but um obviously i have to take this uh to start out i'm gonna have to take this pin out there's a castle nut there's a castle nut on there and then i'm gonna have to take that out and hope that it plays nice and that's gonna come out of there which they usually don't of course um but we'll see you never knew sometimes i do and uh usually i'll just have to hit here with a a hammer or something and get them to pop loose the good thing about this one it's been leaking for quite some time so maybe some of that oil found its way down into the that tapered joint there who knows but or on older machines sometimes they're slopped out enough that you know just, eh, we'll see but and so what i think i'm going to do is start by getting that pin out getting that castle nut off and see if i can get this um of course take the lines off <clears throat> cap the lines and then see if i can get this uh rebuilt and out of here without having to um take the wheel off or or do anything crazy so we'll see how it goes i'm gonna you know the drill get the get to some tools out probably spray this these threads down some penetrating oil and uh get some tools out and uh get you guys set up and we'll get going
Yeah. I guess one thing is the boots ready totally destroyed on this thing so I don't have to worry about messing a boot up if I need to put a pickle fork or something on there. Definitely, I take that back. There's been no boot on there for God knows how long, so that joint is just totally seized up, rusted in there. think that something's gonna go smooth you're crazy I think there's some kind of spring clip in here, retainer or something. Okay, yeah, I think so. It's kind of obvious where these hoses go, but I'm gonna mark them anyways. I'm in this long one. There's no other place for it to go, but.
This is another brilliant cylinder design. Any kind of cylinder that takes some kind of ring to hold it in, just like John Deere's that has some kind of ring that holds it in, it gets all rusted up. It's just a not the greatest idea. So I got this uh, little fella out of there. Uh, it started raining, the wind's gusting, so we'll see how it goes for the camera, but let's keep on going. Ooh. I was on there tighter than I was expecting. So it was the wear rings are still there, but the as you can see maybe on the camera the piston ring here is pretty much toast and then of course our biggest culprit here is um, you can see inside the gland here the rod guide maybe maybe you can't that seal is just So now the rod, the rod looks fine. I didn't clean out the bore yet and get a real good look, but um, from what I can see, till I get it cleaned out better, is uh, it looks okay. Well, now I get the grease off of the rod, there is a couple, a couple spots on it, but I think it'll be okay. So the customer came over and as expected, he wants to do the uh, both, the other side too. And he said that's what he meant, that's what he wanted, so kind of knew that was going to happen, so I'll have to come back and do the other one, but all I do with these rods is, depending on how bad they are, how much I need to buff them, depends on if I use emery or just some scotch bright and just kind of how much polishing it needs done, you can take a big piece and you know polish it up or whatever but that's all I'm gonna do with the rod and then with this this dude I'm gonna just put him in the vise And I'll uh, use the wire wheel. So an O ring with a backup ring.
So I'm just gonna work on that for a minute. There she goes. See how I didn't I didn't get into the side here. So I just want to knock knock it this way. Same thing, just gonna clean this one up.
put some silicone grease on this um, where that where this keeper goes in um, keep it from getting rusted out and seized up keep it from continuing to pit out and to help it slide in there easier. All right, well, it's all ready to go back on the machine, so I'm gonna set you guys up over there and uh, we'll go put it back on so I wire wheeled the end of this groove out and the end of this uh, and then I cleaned the rod out Yeah, so this one's done um, so that's how that's a steering cylinder on a Skytrax 6036 guys I'm gonna clean up and go to the next one thanks for watching I wanted to show you real quick I ran the machine and ran this wheel back and forth and don't got any leaks on there of course but Check this dude out. It's like 
right dang. It's just straight up pouring out of there. There's no, there's no even, it's not just a drip. It's just a, it's just a steady faucet coming out of that side. So I shut it down, but before it lost all the hydraulic fluid, but the other side's not leaking a drop, but man, yeah, that other side needs done ASAP because this is, this is, the, I'm doing the, just this side, did nothing except make that side leak worse, so now this side's not leaking with that one side's leaking twice as bad so um yeah so i'm gonna order another seal kit